Hello, my name is Vajara and today I want to cover retinoblastoma. So I picked this topic because I always heard about this condition, uh, especially when I was on my ophthalmology block, but I never actually knew anything about it. So I'm hoping that I can help you guys uh, before your ophthalmology rotations or for your exams um, to learn a bit about this condition. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've uh, included a picture on top of this title and there's a picture of two eyes. The left one is healthy and it just shows some of the structures present in the eye. Uh, and the right one is retinoblastoma. And retinoblastoma is a cancer arising from retinoblast cells at the back of the eye. Now we know that the retina is the part of the eye that helps convert light into action potentials that travel through the optic nerve into the brain to be processed. So it's a childhood cancer and most cases are found at quite a very, very young age. And it accounts for around 3% of all uh, childhood cancer, so it's quite rare. However, um, it does have a very good prog prognosis if it's caught early. Now we know that chromosome 13 is involved and that's because it's got a gene um, on that chromosome called retinoblastoma 1 gene. Um, and it's a tumor suppressor gene. And what we know is that it's a deactivation of this gene that causes retinoblastoma. Now, with uh, most deactivation mutations that occur in tumor suppressor genes, uh, most of them are recessive in nature. And so in order for a particular cell to become cancerous, both of the cell's tumor suppressor genes must be mutated. And this is called the two-hit hypothesis. I've tried to illustrate that in, in the diagram that I've just drawn. Now, most cases, um, there is no inheritance pattern at all. But of the inherited cases, what we do know is that one of the alleles is already mutated and so they only need one extra mutation for them to have retinoblastoma. Um, because of that, they often present earlier on in life and they often have a bilateral retinoblastoma. So <laughs> I want to show you a picture of me and I'm sure you've seen eyes like mine in this photo. It's called a red reflex. And now when light from your camera flash goes into your eye, it gets reflected by the light sensing cells in the retina. And in retinoblastoma, the light reflects off the white or yellow colored tumor in the eye. And this white eye reflex is called leukocoria, as you can see in this picture here. Now, interestingly, you can also get this white eye reflex if you manage to get light right in the center of the retina, which is called a fovea, as it has no rod or cone cells there to detect light. So moving on to the symptoms now, um, obviously the main one is leukocoria and any child that presents with leukocoria has retinoblastoma unless proven otherwise. And some of the other symptoms that people can get, deterioration in vision, red eye and a squint. Investigation wise, an urgent ophthalmology referral is required, ideally within 48 hours. Um, and once that's done, they can often do a CT or MRI of the orbit to look for the spread of the tumour. Um, and then also a biopsy is not done and that's because of uh, risk of damage to the vitreous. Treatment wise, this essentially depends on the size of the tumour. So if it's small or large, if it's small, uh, photocoagulation, which is a laser like therapy and cryotherapy, which is uh, essentially freezing the tumour. And if it's large, then unfortunately, enucleation, which is removal of the eye, and chemo and radiotherapy if required. Now, uh, finally, just a, a few questions. A uh, young mother is at the paediatrician's office for a routine well baby visit for her 18-month-old son. It is immediately noticed that one of the baby's pupils is white, while the other one is black. When asked about it, the mother relates that she saw the that curious situation for the first time one week ago but since the baby was otherwise asymptomatic she did not think it merited special attention which of the following is the most appropriate course of action uh, so pause the video have a read and see if you can answer it so as we know the correct answer is seeking an emergency ophthalm um, ophthalmolo ophthalmology consultation sorry for possible retinoblastoma so yeah but ideally within 48 hours immediately if possible and lastly 
Uh, the parents of a 14 year old girl present to the GP. They have noticed that in some photos there's no red eye on the left hand side. When you examine the girl, you notice an esotropic strabismus and a loss of the red reflex in the left eye. There is a family history of a grandparent having an enucleation as a child. What was the most likely diagnosis? So we know that this is quite a very young uh, girl, 14 months only. Um, there's, ob there's obviously no red eye present. Um, there's a squint. The strabismus um, and obviously there's a family history of uh, this sort of treatment which enucleation and so the answer here is retinoblastoma I hope that helped thank you very much for listening please like comment and subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon